Hello all, welcome to IQ Pop. In our last lecture, I had discussed about number systems. Now, in this lecture, I will dis demonstrate some of the C code or C program based on number system and ASCII codes. Okay, so in the first slide, it, there was an example of breaking up a, a decimal number. It's like uh, I had taken 9587. <coughs> now I will um, we'll just write a C code to check that uh, whether this is true or this is true or not. Okay, so how to write that code? Let's see. So go to file, new, empty file, file, save file as. Say decimal number, save it, hash, include. Stdio dot h int main number is say n now n equal to nine five eight seven was the number right so nine into sorry nine into thousand plus five into hundred plus eight multiply ten plus 7 multiplied 1 print f n equal to person d comma n return 0 Okay, I have missed a semicolon here, right? Yeah. So, no error. Run it. N equal to this. Okay, so I have demonstrated the thing. Now, the next line it was like this 10 to the power something, right? So, there is a function in C called POW or power function P O W. Okay, so if we want to use that one, we have to include math dot h. Math dot h is a header file which holds all the mathematical functions supported by C. So format is like uh, like POW so 10 to the power 3 so 10 comma 3 here pow sorry 10 to the power 2 is 100 here only 10 and here you can try right pow 10 to the power 0 And this is 10 to the power 1. Pow 10 to the power 1. Now see what happens. No errors. Run it. Alright.
So here, decimal to binary conversion. The first problem is take decimal number input within range of 0 to 32 and convert the number to equivalent binary number. And we have to display that uh, binary number, right? So why I have given this range 0 to 32? Because I don't want to use for loop here. Because we don't, I have not discussed for loop yet. Okay? And 0 to 32 means that maximum number input can be 32. And to represent 32 in binary, we know that we need 5 bits. So what we need to do? We need to calculate these 5 bits. Right, so uh, how we can store these five bits? We are not going to use array also because we have not discussed that thing. So we have to take five uh, variables which will hold these five bits and we will display them. Right, so let's try it. We already have in 10, no problem. Yeah, remove all this. What other thing we need? We need 0th bit on variable, b1 another variable, b3 another variable, b4, okay, b2, yes. So, this b0 to b4 will hold the 5, okay. So, print it. enter a number say 0 to 32 the range also we have displayed here ok number semicolon can f sorry percent d yeah comma m version n all right yeah so they have n now now what we need to do we first we'll divide n by 2 and we have to find out the result of division so do n equal to n by 2. So, value of n will be updated by half of n. If it is a 5, it will be updated by 2, not 2.5. Why? Because it is int and int can't store the decimal part of a floating point number. It will store only the integer part. So, after dividing by 2, if sometimes we get Mm, after point something or decimal part in some number that is going to be automatically discarded and we don't need to store that one also in n in this calculation right now this is first one so first time it will give us b4 so b4 equal to okay sorry first I need to calculate the remainder So B4 equal to N mod 2. Alright. Next. N is updated. Now B3 equal to N mod 2. And again you have to update N. Alright. So we got B2. Now, sorry, now B2 equal to N mod 2, N is updated again, B1 equal to N mod 2, and N is updated, B0 equal to N mod 2, and N is again updated. So, we have calculated B0 to B4, now we have to display them. Print F. How many de, de, uh, integers are there? There is 5. So, percent D, sorry, 
person D yes five ten person D and what are the things we need to do represent sorry oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. these many bits so I am keeping them and copying them and I will paste it here okay now compile it no error run it enter some number say 25 so 11001 okay so it is giving us the result now what will happen in this code if we give something beyond 32 so again run give say 46 so it is showing you the 5 bits but 46 in binary will be 6 bit number ok so th this is the issue with it so what is our uh, next problem that take decimal number convert a convert the decimal number to equivalent binary number so here this range is removed so uh, if we want to do the solution array as well as a for loop is must or any other kind of proof also return zero first of all we need to declare a variable n and array say b sorry say hundred no problem okay now print it enter a number sorry scan it percent d comma ambition n yeah now take care uh, int i equal to zero while while in how long we need to calculate or uh, how long we need to divide n by two according to our previous lecture we will divide n and until we are going to have n equal to zero so we can give here n not equal to zero also no problem okay so in while what we'll do b i equal to n mod 2 all right and n equal to n by 2 n is updated i need to be incremented so that in the next iteration uh, i can go to the next location in the array b okay now it is calculated we will use a for loop i sorry we need to take another variable j equal to say i uh, uh, because the final value of i we need here mm, semicolon j greater than equal to 0 j minus minus print it percent d comma what you need to do b j you need to print right yeah so we will get the remainder j need to be i minus one now compile it give seven to the one no problem it's running okay Gain the number, run it, 
give 100 yes correct so our code can calculate or convert any decimal number to binary number thank you for watching like share and subscribe